we could be on the cusp of a massive inflationary crisis and no one in Washington wants to talk about it. After Trump had to spend $4 trillion on the unprecedented coronavirus pandemic, Biden decided to pass a $1.9 trillion grab bag of left-wing dreams under the guise of the pandemic. Now Democrats want to more than double the federal minimum wage. In many states, including those represented by Democrats in the Senate, this would make the full-time salary annually of a minimum wage worker greater than what is currently the median household income for a year. Now, do boomers who disproportionately represent us in Congress care? Not really, but according to a new poll, young people are terrified of inflation. 52% of Gen Z respondents to a poll report being very concerned about inflation. And around 80% of all Gen Z, Millennial, and Gen X respondents report being very or somewhat concerned about inflation. Naturally, boomers were the least concerned. And of course, boomers don't have to care because they aren't the ones who have to deal with it. Consider, amid a time of free-flowing spending, Jerome Powell says that he's fine keeping interest rate rates near or about zero. He says that now is not the time for us to care about our deficit. Then when is? According to the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office, by 2051, our debt will be twice the size of our annual GDP. And by 2051, the primary impetus behind our spending growth will be Social Security and Medicare, and that in turn will increase the amount that we have to spend on interest on our debt. At that point, 9% of our annual economic output will be eaten up by what we owe on our interest of our total output, not of our total federal spending. But no one in Washington cares because you and I are going to have to deal with it. Boomers, the same generation that gave us the Clintons, forever wars, and below replacement birth rates are also about to give us a massive inflationary crisis.